On the back of four consecutive victories, Cronulla is a club reborn. They enjoyed a top four berth heading into round six, with struggling Parramatta poised to be their next victim. And were playing with confidence rarely seen in the Shire. If there was any danger of the Sharks becoming too cocky though, Jared Hayne quickly snapped it out of them. Hayne again at the angle, straightening now, Jared Hayne slams it down on the goal line, which is good enough. With Nathan Gardner likely to miss the rest of the season, Cronulla were looking for a candidate to fill the role of custodian. And Matthew Wright's audition was admirable. Carney will kick on the fifth between the uprights. Back there to take the ball. Matthew Wright for the Sharks. Another of the NRL's big improvers powered over four minutes later. Pomeroy with a little bit of room. Ben Pomeroy gets away. Pomeroy dummies. Ben Pomeroy will do it himself. What a run from the Cronulla Centre who's having a fantastic 2012. That's his fourth try for the season. Next came a perfect illustration of how teams riding high can manufacture their own good fortune. Robson will kick across field. Best is looking for it again. Got up there. It was Pomeroy, I'm sorry. And Bakuya is claiming the try. Several replays supported the second rower's plea as it showed the ball hadn't been knocked on by any Cronulla player. Three unanswered tries had given the Sharks a semblance of control, yet the threat posed by Hayne loomed very large. Got a flip pass from Hayne. Out the go, Chase Blair. And Jared Hayne's pass... Grounding, please, mate. ...was magnificent if it's resulted in a Parramatta try. Unbelievable. That flick pass is amazing. The Eels maestro finished the half like he began it. Sando kicking across the face again. Coming through, Jared Hayne plucks it out of the air. We're waiting for final approval. There it is. Steve Lyons took his time. Jared Hayne gets a double. And amazingly, the Blue and Golds were back on level terms at 18 apiece. Hayne wasn't just scoring tries or creating them, but saving them as well. Bakuya into open territory, supported by Pomeroy. Bakuya won't need him. He took a tackle, rolled the dice. Carney has been intercepted, but a penalty. However, Superman was nowhere to be seen when the Sharks regained the ascendancy. Morris, Smith, Carney. Long to Stuart Mills. Todd Carney, what a ball. Brilliantly finished by Mills. In order to defend their six-point lead, Cronulla reverted to the kind of gritty defence that kept the Dragons scoreless the previous weekend. And Matthew Wright's magnificent kick return relieved plenty of pressure as well. Matthew Wright straight through. Matty Wright back at the angle into open territory. Bending away from Heinmar. Still going Matthew Wright. How many has he beaten? The whole team. Parramatta's prospects of taking the game into overtime were undermined by the departure of Chris Sando late in the second half with a shoulder problem. And that left the Sharkies to celebrate win number five on the trot, 24 points to 18. Definitely tough, mate. Look, obviously we all knew that they had a lot of pressure on them. Not from like being a role from the media and that, and I think it's a little bit unfair. They've been close in games and they showed what they've done today. They come out and swamped us and got it got away and then we got away on them and then um, they come back to all their credit just we, we're all guilty of not completing sets and stuff like that and we got back into a grind again and we are uh, held out again David Rowland's Big Pond Sport <laughs>